In order to get a better view of these individual fractures and really measure this in detail, we use our own, let's call them low altitude satellites. So we go out with drones, quadcopter uh, aircrafts with mounted cameras, or barring suitable conditions or regulations for drones. I'm Austin Elliott. I'm a postdoctoral researcher in the Oxford Department of Earth Sciences. I research earthquakes, uh, and I'm going to talk to you today about how we understand earthquake hazards and how we investigate risks uh, in, in hazardous parts of the world using satellite observation of the planet. It culminated with this magnitude 8.3 massive earthquake that devastated the city that existed at the time. And it still faces this same seismic risk from the same active faults. So we go out to try and understand the nature of the earthquakes that hit it in the past in order to understand what may happen in the future on the uniform surface. This is conceptually what that process looks like. The satellite flies over, gaining different vantage points of the ground. From those different vantages, we can calculate the elevation of all the points within those images. From this, we derive detailed maps of the ground surface. These maps are uh, down to sub-meter resolution, so we can pick out features including... In order to get a better view of these individual fractures and really measure this in detail, we use our own, let's call them low-altitude satellites. So we go out with drones, quadcopter uh, aircrafts with mounted cameras, or barring suitable conditions or regulations for drones, we go out with a balloon strapped with a camera. We walk it along the landscape and derive a detailed model of a, of a small portion of it using these same techniques and principles.